Hello, my name is Scott, the breathing guy. I train people to activate core breathing to generate key energy in physical activity. I want to introduce you to a brand new, innovative, even evolutional video series that will change your outlook on how to swing the driver. The title of this new video series is Optum Driver Swing with Key Energy. That's right, key energy. So what I do is develop the breathing within the physical activity, like swinging the driver. What I have done is I, I have broken the ability down into lessons how to create the optimum driver swing with key energy. And I broke them down to three lessons. And well, the first lesson that you're gonna get is called driver swing mechanics for the optimum swing. Here, I have developed four segments. I've divided the swing into four segments. The first segment is how to take the club back to the top. Address and take the club back, both. I go into angles of the spine, footwork, head, all the, and then how to engage the fingers and hands to take the club back. What is your goal, taking the club back? To create the coil. The second segment in the first lesson is how to start the swing down. How do you initiate that first movement? How do you start unwinding the coil and you're bringing the club to the ball? The third segment is a lot of fun. It's cr the crossover. That strikes the ball. I go into finger ergonomics to help you really amplify striking the ball. Very few people do that. These because have used the wrong finger pressure. It alters the club head ability to strike the ball. The fourth segment is bringing the club head up to finish. Here, I'm using how to use your breath to, if you want to say, distribute the kinetic energy of stopping the club from 80 miles or faster in less than a second, so you don't hurt your back or the body. Lessen, lessen, it lessens the chance of hurting your body. In the first love lesson, I go through the swing mechanics very closely and really understanding what it means and why different forms of swing mechanics produce this type of effect. And understanding which uh, swing mechanics you want to practice. You choose. It's not just me telling you, I'm going to have a whole range of do this or that causes this, cause and effect within the swing mechanics itself. And the goal is the optimum. Now, in order to do swing mechanics, you go to lesson two. Lesson two, I address in two drawings, the four components that is part of every golf swing. Two components are an energy point of view, two components are a physical point of view. And you will see it in these two drawings and what you have to refine. How you put these four components together determines the outcome of your swing, all swings. So really understanding the four components, how you develop it, how do you re, uh, can refine it, engage it, determines the outcome of every swing. The a third lesson is a fitness approach to swing the driver. I'm going to introduce you to 21st century approach to fitness in relationship to how to swing, in, the, in relationship to your ability to swing the driver. You have to exercise. If you're 50 years old, you're one. If you're 20 years old, it's something different. How do you keep yourself fit to swing the driver, clubs, uh, play? That's the beauty of, if you want to say, learning the golf swing. You can see how well your body is, how fit it is by swinging the driver or swinging any club in a way because it's dealing with range of motion. So you got these three lessons. 
if you thought there was nothing new under the sun about developing your golf swing, I am a trainer. I go into great details physically of how the swing mechanics work for the goal of having an optimum driver swing. And what is an optimum driver swing, you may ask by now? It has three characteristics that have to be in the swing. The first ability is to transfer as much force into the club head, striking the ball. Now there's many other forms of uh, swing mechanics that can do that very well. But then the second characteristic involved is the repeatability. You have to have the repeat that it goes straight ahead and you can create the distance every time repeatably. Now, a lot of also swing mechanics don't produce that. You can get the head club, uh, get it out there, but it doesn't go in quite the direction you want. The third element is, this is the hardest one to do, and the greatest enjoyment is making it effortless to do it. To hit over 250 and it's effortless, that is the fun of a great golf striking ability with the driver. It is beautiful to see someone that be able to do that. Just to uh, change a little bit here, I do recommend learning golf for all you people that are considering the game. You're just first listening to this. I have the swing mechanics I'm gonna show you. It will give you a foundation to build and to adjust your own physical ability to swing the driver or all your other clubs. That's the beauty of this whole series. Optimum driver swing mechanic with key energy. It helps being fit. The best example for being fit is the idea of going to the range and you hit 100 balls and you take three to 500 core breath because that's what I teach. And in doing so, you will tone your whole core and your torso and your breath range will be more, much more dynamic as well. And that way you can put it into your golf swing as well. So look on YouTube, type in, uh, optimum driver swing with key energy. And it'll be lesson one, lesson two, or lesson three. And then within the lesson, you'll see what part of that lesson will be displayed on that video series. This is a very detailed approach to swing mechanics to swing the driver. The other thing you look for is my name, Scott, the breathing guy on YouTube. And I come up, you'll see my series coming in. Because I'm going to do every week, every two weeks, I'm going to put a new video out in one of those three areas. So, hope you uh, tune in and enjoy your golf swing.